All right, hey YouTube. Uh, so here's my follow-up video on uh, Google Play Music All Access. Um, I'm gonna begin with uh, a comment that uh, Manuel Lopez uh, left on my last video, um, asking how the audio quality was. And honestly, the quality is very good uh, compared to Spotify. Um, Spotify had the option between standard high and extreme um, honestly as much as a music lover as I am I cannot tell the difference between the three different ones I have um, 2k RK 10 inch no 5 inch subwoofers or speakers and honestly I really can't tell the difference between the three uh, I know with the computer you only have the high quality option um, I can't tell the difference uh, you have to have a really keen uh, ear to be able to tell the difference on them. So how does that compare with uh, Google Music All Access? Google Music All Access has two options. You have a regular standard uh, audio quality or you can choose to select high quality. Now <clears throat> I went back home for the weekend um, and I used the high quality option on my 4G network with Verizon and I went to sleep listening to some classical music and it ate up a lot of my data. Um, I think I went, fell asleep for like an hour, and it um, used up two gigs of my uh, data plan. So uh, beforehand, before I started using it, I think I used maybe half a gig. So let's say it used about a gig and a half for an hour of play. So definitely, if you're streaming high quality, with Google Play Music All Access, use it on Wi-Fi, unless you have an unlimited plan. Um, but other than that, audio quality is really good. <clears throat> another cool thing I noticed, and another reason, you know, these are the small things with Google uh, Play Music All Access, is the way the compatibility it has with other Google apps. And I, I'm a Google fanatic. I really like it. I have the Droid Bionic, and I use navigation quite a bit and so with Spotify it would it, when you know the Navi would be saying which way to turn or whatever the music would stop completely it would talk then the music will come back I really didn't like that you know I like fluidity and with Google Play Music All Access it keeps going in the background it just turns it down a little bit so you can hear the voice and you're good to go so Google Play Music All Access is really, really um, looking good. You know, it, it, it does seem to have, um, use a lot of data if you are streaming high quality. Um, as compared to Spotify, it really never had an issue. Um, so I don't know if there's something different um, or what's going on with that. But um, <clears throat> another thing with uh, music, uh, with Spotify you're able to have an offline um, bundle of your music you know you can download whatever you want onto your device uh, f for as many songs as you like I think there was a limit but it was thousands of songs um, with Google Play Music All Access I do not know the limit but I do know that it's kind of s it's really slow I'm not gonna lie it's slow I don't know if it's because of the quality that it's downloading I don't know if it's the servers, um, I don't know what it is. I have a 30 megabit per second connection, five up here at my home, and it only does it on Wi-Fi, only downloads the music on Wi-Fi. So honestly, I don't know what it is, but it is really slow, and sometimes it can be buggy. Like it, it gets, if, if your Wi-Fi turns on and off, then it starts, you know, um, it starts saying cannot download playlist I don't know if it's my device I'm not sure but it is kinda buggy there Spotify really was a lot quicker and a lot better at downloading music straight to your device um, so those are the few things that I just wanted to mention um, so quality great on data be cautious it could use it up if it's high quality um, really good compatibility with navigation it turns it down your music still playing in the background 
and it just turns right back up whenever you're wanting to listen to it and the navigation is done talking. And last but not least is the ability to download music to your device. It is there, but it's slow and um, I don't know what it is, but you know, hopefully it, it, uh, it gets better from there. But all in all, I give it a thumbs up. Google Play Music All Access, get it uh, before the end of the month in June and you could get it for $7.99 afterwards. It's a free 30-day trial. Give it a shot and uh, we'll see how you like it. You know, leave some comments down below. Let me know what else you would like to know. And uh, thank you to my new subscribers. I will be bringing more videos more constantly and I'll be, any, any other tech help, you know, any other stuff with Android or Windows or whatever, give me a shout, a shout out and let me know what else you want. Alright, thanks guys.